So let's look at the code for stars head controls. Uh, so most of this is using um, a live, just using the demo code. I've not really modified much of the JavaScript. I modified a bit, but it's mostly modifying the uh, free JS. Uh, then we're mostly just modifying the scene information, which is sort of uh, here really. Function initiate new scene. Uh, free JS is a uh, JavaScript library for uh, creating web three D WebGL content. It's very good, very cool. Look on the website on uh, look on the website for free JS, and you'll find loads and loads of examples of interesting uh, creative um, WebGL implementations people have used. It's very interesting. So I guess I should walk over a little bit about what's actually happening here. This is just a HTML file. Um, we've got a little bit of CSS, which is in, which is there. Should really be an external file. But that's just uh, most of it's ignore that for a while. So for the uh, script references first to. All the JavaScript that's being used in the scene. So the ones we're going to focus on really, obviously, we've got scripts type source JS free min minified free JS there, which is in this folder, and then uh, uh, the head controls, which is the JS from the demo. Some of this isn't being used, I need to get rid of some of it. Which is just uh, all this. Which I, I haven't created myself, it's just from the dealer's facefilter.js library. Well, um, so these are dependent on each other. And also, do, 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 this as well, free con head controls JS, which is all the JavaScript for the uh, face tracking part of the webcam. So I've not really modified any of that really in this space because uh, it's not really much point it does what I need it to do so I've just used it directly from the from the git repository um, and then there's a bunch of things here which are not really using at the minute but I might do just like post processing I need to get that to work actually in the current version okay so let's go on to the HTML body um, which means the actual if you know anything about HTML body is where you have the actual content of the site the head is just uh, dependencies like CSS scripts etc um, it's going to change that eventually but uh, div containers just uh, wait, 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 if we need to modify that so. uh, so, the thing we're interested in is this head control canvas ID, which is uh, where the canvas, the HTML5 canvas that is created for the actual head tracking. That's created there. Or it's, it's not created there, but it's the ID, where the actual ID tells the script where, that's, where that is. And then all this inline script here within the script within is you could do this differently. You could I, I could have and probably would do normally. Uh, I've just done this. I don't I mean I literally coded this in Starbucks. Um, and really it was it was just an experiment. So it wasn't even I didn't really code. That. I haven't really coded that much. I've just taken a real someone's demo and really just modified it a bit. I thought I'd talk about that anyway because it's sort of interesting. It gives people a bit of an overview and uh, introduction to FreeJS, which is something I'm still learning about. But yeah. So, what's going on here? So, we've got three uh, two functions called initiate. We've got variables here camera, control, scene, renderer. Um, 
and then we've got two um, method initiate which runs function initiate which runs and the function animate which runs with zero past it so that's not being used yet so I don't worry about that scene as is the post processing I just want to implement that haven't quite worked yet scene so let's just go through some of this scene equals new free scene just basically tells uh, creates a new free scene uh, and then you've got web gel renderer which creates a renderer here which creates a new rendering uh, thread I guess um, scene background just gives you the background which is black in this case um, I don't really change that much from the actual code off face of it, uh, the, the, the library had just changed the background colour to black. Um, what else is important here? Document get element by ID is the container for the, for the, for the scene I'm generating as it's the whole screen, it's just container, so it's everything. And then that last appending child adds the rendering to the DOM element. The camera just like creates a new camera, so a new camera through the view. Uh, head controls, da -da -da -da. and this is the yeah, this is tied in with the uh, head controls JavaScript. Camera head controls canvas NCC path. I'm not exactly sure what NCC path is doing, but I know that it's. Uh, a JSON file that I had to download and put into uh, the JavaScript folder, but that's there anyway. Um, that's one not really been introduced to this before. Sensibility rotate, so that's actually quite new to me. Geometry. This is where this block of code here is where we're generating the geometry that goes into the scene. Uh, so in this case, we've I've created spheres. Uh, with the and they're all their sort of uh, shape attributes are here 10, 10, 30. I've just messed around with those, I'm probably going to change them eventually. And then mesh pong for our material is just like the, the color of the the geometry that's being added. Um, so it's yellow. Ah, sorry. And then this is just a for loop which creates 900 um, objects with our sphere, sphere objects, and then positions them randomly, math random. Uh, da -da -da -da. Bar mesh, new fish. This is to create a new mesh with the geometry here and the material there. And then you see now the mesh adds all the. Uh, adds the uh, the objects basically to the scene. Lights fairly self-explanatory. Just creates some lights. So you've got some light in the scene as well. And then this is something I added, which wasn't there originally. I just added a texture loader, which is var texture declared variable. You add a new texture loader, loader space JPEG, which is just in the same directory as the. Is the index so you don't have to put any path information and then scene background equals texture which is a variable here that does that then sets the texture and this is something I'm trying to do with post processing I'm probably gonna get rid of it actually and then all the function animate just uh, keeps the renderer running and animates animates the updates the actual renderer as to what's going on in this case, it would be with the head controls. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then I've just added, very quickly added some auto playing music from, on this space scene for, uh, it's just literally HTML5 auto play. There's nothing else going on there apart from that. Uh, yeah, that's an overview of this quick experiment I did with head controls. Uh, so if, like I said, I use Jelly's face filter which is on github.com jellies, jellies face filter. Uh, like I said, I've not really done a great deal. I've just taken the um, demo code and just sort of modified it and had to have a look at it. Um, I thought I'd get this, I've given a really basic overview of what's going on. Uh, obviously I could dive further into what head controls JS is doing, but I've not really looked at it myself and it's a bit above me at the minute, I think, really. 
to really properly be able to explain that. Um, I've just used, like I said, the library demo to try and uh, explore it. There's the JSON file here, was, so I have no idea what's going, what the information this really is helping with. I guess it's something to do with coordination, the controls, the free head controls. Again, another JS dependency. So yeah, if you want to um, have a look at that, the source code is below, um, and you can experiment and take a look at that if you wish. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I've been Chris, aka uh, Noir Nerd. Watch more if you fancy. If you have any thoughts, or if you have any uh, issues with the demo, or any suggestions because I'm quite new to this channel is quite new to me then just let me know uh, I'm trying to make it informative and sort of lightweight and accessible uh, okay bye